Hello, I'm Dr Melanie Windridge, Plasma Physicist, Communications Consultant at Tokamak Energy and UK Director of the Fusion Industry Association. It's Friday the 5th of June 2020 and this is your Fusion News Update. Stories today include 1. Commonwealth Fusion Systems Funding Announcement and IEA World Energy Investment Report 2. UK AEA signs multi-million pound framework agreement to aid development of fusion energy 3. Fusion energy is coming and maybe sooner than you think. Four, for better fusion reactors, we must stop the blobs. And a couple of bonuses. One, with $84 million in new cash, Commonwealth Fusion Systems is on track for a demonstration fusion reactor by 2025. This is reported in a few outlets. Commonwealth Fusion Systems has closed its latest investment round and announced $84 million in new funding, despite the US lockdown. Being a pre-revenue company can have its advantages, especially when you're working to solve a giant global problem that isn't going away. CFS is building tokamaks with high temperature superconducting magnets. They are currently building a full-scale demonstration magnet that they hope to turn on next year. After that, they'll be building a machine that will generate more power than it takes to run. Singapore's Temasek Holding led the funding round and Norwegian oil giant Equinor also invested, among other firms. Also on the investment topic, the IEA World Energy Investment Report was released last week. It states that energy investment is set to fall by one-fifth in 2020 due to the COVID-19 pandemic, though it notes that clean energy investment has been relatively resilient in the downturn. The authors make the point that COVID-19 is a huge shock to the energy system, but the response also presents an opportunity to steer the energy sector onto a more resilient, secure and sustainable path. The way that policymakers respond to the crisis today will determine the energy security and sustainability hazards that the world will face tomorrow. Seeing investment in fusion at this time is a good sign that investors see this as a growing sector. Steve Yervetson, Managing Director and Founder of Future Ventures, an investor in CFS, said, Fusion energy is an investment in our future that offers an important path towards combating climate change. Our continued investment in CFS fits strongly within our mission as we seek long-term solutions to address the world's energy challenges. 2. UK AEA signs multi-million pound framework agreement to aid the development of fusion energy. The United Kingdom Atomic Energy Authority, UK AEA, has signed a four-year-long engineering design services framework enabling it to call on the expertise of nine world-leading engineering firms including Rolls-Royce, Atkins and Fraser Nash. The framework will allow UK AEA to work closely together with industry on various projects, aiming to position the UK as a leader in sustainable fusion energy. The engineering companies bring a range of skills, such as mechanical engineering, process engineering, computer-based modelling and simulations, minor structural engineering for design, specialist nuclear services, and electrical control and instrumentation. The partners believe the framework will be vital in the mission to develop commercial fusion power, while also helping to grow the UK economy. 3. Fusion energy is coming and maybe sooner than you think. This is a feature in PowerMag on fusion energy. This comprehensive piece talks about what fusion is, the history and some of the current challenges. The author, Thomas Overton, talks about ITER and government programmes, but also about private ventures, giving some details on TAE technologies, Commonwealth Fusion Systems, General Fusion and Tokamak Energy. Finally, it looks at fusion development after ITER, including DEMO and China's efforts. And it considers when we might start seeing fusion on the grid, noting that, though this article is focused on scientific and engineering factors, the ultimate deciding factors will be social and economic. Fusion power plants will be built when investors and public utility commissions begin viewing them as worthwhile investments. Exactly when that point will be reached is difficult to say. Four, for better fusion reactors, we must stop the blobs. If you're interested in plasma science that could improve tokamak fusion devices, take a look at the research behind this humorously titled piece. Researchers from the Princeton Plasma Physics Laboratory say they've linked the fluctuating turbulence blobs inside tokamaks with overall changes to the whole magnetic field. You'll find more info in the description below. Your bonus this week is a profile of graduate student Erica Salazar on MIT News. And the ETA tokamak is now being constructed in the south of France. You can see photos on their website. So that's all for Fusion News this week. Please subscribe to our channel for more Fusion News updates and check out the links in the description below for further information. Have a great weekend.